seventh cup of coffee. This is my eighth cup of coffee. The last time you gave me this much coffee is when you lost your wallet with all your credit cards in it. That was the morning I sloshed to work. <laughs> all right, what is it? It's a terrible thing that I'm about to ask you, but I am going to ask you. That's why I'm having all the difficulty. Have you bought me anything for my anniversary? No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What do I get if I take back what I gave you last year? <laughs> oh, you know, I get so excited sometimes I'm not very clear. And I don't know exactly what I'm saying. But this gift is so dear to me. So dear to me. And something that you've already told me that I could have. Um, so I'm not asking, I'm just reminding. Tell me what it is you want for your anniversary, sweetheart. And you'll have it. This anniversary. I want to get married. <laughs> I, I, I know I haven't got the greatest memory in the world, but didn't we do that? Didn't we do that five years ago? I mean, that was you and me standing in front of a little guy with the book, wasn't it? Yeah, but that was at the city hall. But do you remember? Do you remember what you said after the ceremony when we were standing at the bus stop? When we were standing at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We were we were talking about the marriage ceremony, mm -hmm. about not having a big wedding. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, Paula, Paula, I'm sorry you couldn't have the kind of wedding you've always looked forward to and deserved, but I promise you we'll have a real wedding when I can afford it. So, how's business? <laughs> Hello, Eugen speaking. Good news, Hollister. We have an excellent chance of selling your comic strip in 51 foreign countries. How soon can you have a presentation for me? Well, uh... We may have to fly to Chicago at any hour. Keep yourself available. Yes, sir. Alistair? Are you still at home? Yes, sir. It's 8.15. <laughs> Who was that? The correct time. <laughs> well, that was the boss. Jetman may be sold overseas, and if it does... That means a nice bonus for us. Let's go ahead with the wedding. Oh, that would be wonderful. You know, it's something that every girl thinks of. A wedding with a white dress and all the people around her that she really loves and feels close to. And flowers and music and... Thank you. Dick, could we do it on our anniversary? Do... do, do uh... Three weeks on this Sunday, Mrs. Hollister, we get married. Not so fast. What? You haven't proposed to me. How's this for a proposal? Pick up the pillow. <laughs> And a gift. I mean, I mean, a gift just isn't necessary. Hey, hey, would you put Daddy on? Andrew, 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 will you please cut it out? <laughs> Hello? Daddy? Oh, yeah. We're getting married again. Isn't that a scream? No, 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 I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We cannot hurt him. He's trying to kill us. <laughs> Dick, Paula, oh, uh, if you got a minute, can I come over? Sure, Arnold. Come on over. Honey, I'll yeah. see you tonight, okay? Okay, hey, bye. Bye. Hi. Listen, Arnold, I can't really take long to talk. I've got to get to work. I'm going to be really late. Well, it's about Harry. Oh, yeah? Oh, Harry's a very sensitive person, you know. Yeah. Unless you ask him someplace, he won't go there. Arnold, what are you trying to tell me? Harry just spent $81.64 to buy a tuxedo. Well, he knows he's coming to the wedding. What about best man? Well, Harry's our best man. He knows that. Um, no one's proposed to him yet. Oh, no. Dick must have forgotten. Is he there now? Yeah. Look, do you want me to call him? Please. Hey, Harry? Yeah? Uh, Paula wants to see you. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Harry, please come over. Come on. Hi, Paula. Hey, Harry, dear. I'm sorry. I don't know how this happened, but we just must have forgotten to ask you this very important question. We want you to be the best man at our wedding. Best man? Well... <laughs> Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. I'll kill you if you did. <laughs> Gosh, Paula, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I... Say yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess I gotta go out now and get a tuxedo well, and all that. Well, don't go out in too much expense. No, no, no. I figure I ought to be able to get something pretty nice for about $81.64. <laughs> you can't have the wedding. You can't afford it. Murray, for once, let sentiment take precedent over the dollar. Be romantic. I don't have to be romantic. I'm your accountant. If I wanted to be romantic, I'd be a dentist. <laughs> you cannot afford this. Look, you are inviting 73 people at $8 a piece. Do you know what that'll cost? $584, Murray. $584. <laughs> Murray, I have some money in the bank. All you've got are some United States savings bonds, and you're not cashing those in. Look, I can't let you do this to yourself. We're having the wedding. All right, but we won't have music. Murray, Murray, we're only hiring a three-piece band. Yeah, but three musicians at $15 an hour for four hours. Do you know how much that'll cost? $240, Murray. <laughs> $240 for three musicians. But you don't need an orchestra. All you need is an accordion player. How much will that cost? Nothing. My wife plays the accordion. <laughs> She'll play at my wedding? Well, why not? She played at ours. <laughs> now, let's see. What else? Photographer, what do you need? Murray, a look, Murray, for? Murray, I want Paula to have a big wedding. This is what she wants, and this is what I want. I want this wedding, Murray. Okay, okay, if you want this wedding, I'll tell you one way you can have it. How? Let her marry a rich man. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar to his friends, Oscar North to his family, and Jetman to the countless fans who mobbed me and adored me in 17 key cities in the past five days. How are you, Richard? Oh, you should have seen me, Richard, the way I sang and danced my way into their hearts. I tell you, they wouldn't let me go. I was a one-man love-in. I'm fine, thank you, Oscar. That's three and two-fifths. What? In 17 cities in five days comes out to exactly three and two-fifths cities a day. Oscar, I'd like to meet my accountant, Murray Mouse. Oh. How do you do, Mr. Mouse? Yes. Now nobody has a name like Mouse. You tell that to my wife, Minnie. <laughs> you know, you're the very first celebrity I've ever met. Worth waiting for, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, Richard, you mass marvel. You, I heard the good news about your forthcoming wedding. It's a warm notion. Thank you, Oscar. I didn't know you knew. Oh, somebody told me in Cleveland. Oh, you should have seen that parade they gave me, Richard. With, excuse me. <laughs> Confetti and ticket tapes and, and a huge float with a replica of my face made out of cashew nuts. <laughs> and, excuse me, the thousands of people who cheered me all the way from the airport straight to my room at the Y. <laughs> you stayed at the Y, Oscar? Oh, he knows, he knows. Uh, what do you do in a hotel room? You sleep, huh? 
Why spend $30 at a fancy hotel when you can sleep just as well at the Y for $3? Exactly. Yeah, let's see, that's a savings of... Uh, a savings of $27, Murray. You save $27 that way, Murray. Murray, $27. <laughs> Is it twenty seven dollars? Twenty seven dollars. Hey, look, you two talk. I gotta go phone Minnie, book her for the wedding. <laughs> nice meeting you. You're right. <laughs> Richard. I wanna be your best man. Oscar, I'd like you to be best man at my wedding. Minnie, you're late? Yeah, I got hung up on the foreign presentation with Nugent. Oh, yeah? In the most ridiculous way. You know how many times I use Yipes and Jetman? Huh? Well, I had to find Yipes in 51 different languages. That's hard. I'll say, especially in Portuguese. But I think I found a word that works. Oh, yeah? Ihola. Ihola, Ihola, I like it. Does that mean Yipes in Portuguese? No, not really. The literal translation is... <laughs> We almost had an Hayola here this morning. Do you know that you forgot to ask Harry to be best man? It's a good thing I did, too. Oscar's going to be our best man. You ask Oscar to be best man? No, Oscar asked Oscar. And I ask Harry. Hayola! <laughs> Why did you ask Harry without asking me? Why, well, darling, you forgot to ask sweet, sweet Harry. Now Honey. you just have to tell Oscar no. Honey, you didn't see Oscar. If I tell him no, he'll fall apart. He'll crumble. Now, what about Harry? He is our best friend. Right. That's why he'll understand. He always does. Whenever we get stuck, have two appointments, two dinner dates, one with someone we don't particularly want to see, and one with Harry, what do we do? We break the one with Harry. Why? Because we know we'll understand. That's what good friends are for. Not to see. <laughs> Darling, it'll have to be Harry. My love, I can't disappoint Oscar. Lover, Harry. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to get married. I do want to get married. I knew it. It's taken you five years, but you're finally backing out of the whole marriage. Well, goodbye and good luck in your new life. Uh, Paula, Paula, I, I want to marry you, my sweet. Darling, darling, I do want to marry you. Paula, if you'll open this door, I'll prove how much I want to marry you. This thing's beyond repair. I'm going to have to put in a whole new door. Can't understand it. Anyone slam this door real hard last night? No. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone to bed mad last night. If I could have gotten the door open and back into the bedroom, we wouldn't have. It's open now. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. I'm sorry. It really was my fault. You're wrong. It was my fault. Harry is our best friend, and he's going to be our best man. I'm going to talk to Oscar. Thank you. I'll get it. Morning, Richard. Uh -huh. Good morning, Paula, my darling. Oscar, what are you doing up at this hour? Well, there are a jillion things a best man has to do before a ceremony. I purchased this book last night, The Duties of a Best Man. Oh, by the way, Richard, uh, you're staying at my house the night before the wedding. Why? Bride and groom shouldn't see each other before the ceremony. It's bad luck. We'll sleep blindfolded. <laughs> now. Oscar, Harry is going to be our best man. Yep. You'd rather have a civil servant than a star? <laughs> you... You don't want me at the wedding. No, no, we do want you at the wedding. Of course you're coming to the wedding, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be the old main attraction. Yes, sir, you're going to sing at our wedding. Oh, but, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm going to sing at your wedding? Sure, sure. I mean, what does a best man do? He holds the ring. Big deal. Yes, that's true. All that hurrying and scurrying, those petty little chores, you're right. He's nothing but a surf. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll sing. 
I'll come on early and set the mood before the guests arrive with just a smidgen of... Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Afterwards at the reception, I'll do my Rudolph Frimmel medley. Oh, yes, yes, it's a deal, it's a deal, Paula Dick, it's a deal, Paula, now please applaud, it's a deal. Very good, but don't sing any more now. Um, you'll, you'll sing at the wedding. Okay? Oh, that's all right, all right. All right. Here, mm. might as well give that to Harry. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Uh, tell him it's three ninety-five. <laughs> I'll get that. Hey, Oscar, how about some coffee? It's free. Hello, Eugene speaking. Just read your presentation, Hollister, and it's phenomenally adequate. <laughs> we leave for Chicago on the 12th. The 12th? That's the day I'm getting married. That's the only day they can see us. You'll have your mock wedding the following week. I, I can't, I can't. Besides, the invitations have already gone out. Hollister, you've just cast me into the role of the villain. I shall now recite my lines. If I do not see you in Chicago on the 12th, I don't want to see you in your office on the 13th. I'm getting married on the 12th. Goodbye, Hollister. And good luck. <laughs> because God made me mine, I'll cherish me. here to join this man and this woman in Matthew. We are gathered here to join this man and this woman in matrimony. Into this estate, these two persons come now to be joined. Do you, Paula, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To love, honor, and cherish so long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Richard, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish, so long as you both shall live? I do. May I have the ring, please? <laughs> uh, the ring? The ring is on its way to a fire. <laughs> Here, Richard, use mine. <laughs> This is a Jetman ring. I know, I know. It's the new one. With the secret Dakota. Uh, may I have the ring? I uh, think it's damaged. No, it's just that the hidden compartment came open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take the ring in your right hand and place it on Paula's finger and repeat after me. Look out for the little rockets. <laughs> With 
this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'll be there, yes, 9.30, right. You'll be where? I got my job back. <laughs> back? I didn't know you lost it. Well, I was afraid if you knew, you wouldn't marry me. Dick, what happened? Well, I was supposed to be in Chicago in a meeting today instead of getting married. But Nugent postponed the meeting and I can have my job back. If I go tonight. You're going to spend our wedding night in Chicago? No. We are. Come, my little chipmunk. <laughs> You're going to fly to Chicago with me. Dick, mm -hmm. I love you. Hey, are we going tourist or first class? Sure, I don't know. I have to call Maury from the airport. <laughs> Stay tuned for Claire Trevor as an undercover cop who falls in love with dope smuggler Fred McMurray in Borderline. As Hollywood Heartthrob Week continues on the USA Movie, next.